because I think we know when we go to a movie that we're going to see a trashy picture, but we hope that it's good trash and that we'll have some fun. And sometimes we do. For example, I thought last year the Greek tycoon, the Jackie Onassis story, was great trash with <laughs> splendid locations and good acting. Now, the new movie Bloodline is trashy too, but that's all it is. Audrey Hepburn plays the heiress to a billion dollar pharmaceutical company. Her father has just been murdered. She's had a threat on her life. And during her wedding reception, she sends for a Swiss detective who's been investigating her father's death. Inspector Honing. <laughs> Would you like some champagne? No, I don't drink, thank you. Family? Mm hmm According to my father, one of them is deliberately trying to ruin the company. And when my father got in his or her way, my father was murdered. And whoever it was tried to murder me too. You said you played the tape? Mm -hmm. The late Mr. of Secretary, this Miss Kate Erling, she heard it too? Oh, yes, but it's not Kate. My father trusted her completely. Could I have the tape, the original? It's evidence. I have it upstairs. The film turns out to be a simple guessing game of which one of Audrey Hepburn's relatives is trying to kill her. All of the suspects have the same motive, money. Now, to add spice to this guessing game, which gets awful dreary at times, the film throws in a few disgusting scenes of naked women being strangled. Bloodline is really sleazy. It's surprising to see Audrey Hepburn in a picture like this, which is only her second film in the 70s. With Audrey Hepburn, you might expect Bloodline to be excellent trash. All it is, though, is trashy. I'll go even further than that, Gene. As far as I'm concerned, this is the worst major movie of 1979. I was, I was totally appalled. It denies us even the simple pleasure of trying to figure out for ourselves who might be the person who's after her. I mean, even in an Agatha Christie thriller, you have little clues and false mm -hmm. leads, and you can sit there and so forth. Here, the suspects simply stand around suspecting each other, and then, as you mentioned, you have that nauseating business of the strangulations yeah, every Thursday. That's worth time. repeating. Out of the blue, about every 30 minutes, we yeah. see a naked woman strangled in luscious detail, this picture can only be after thugs in the audience. I mean, who did they think they were making the picture for? Mm -hmm. I mean, Audrey Hepburn fans who come to see The Wardrobe are going to be appalled by the violence. Yes. No violent movie fan would ever go to a movie like this. I hope they're going to be disappointed too, too much Audrey Hepburn. Mm -hmm. It's a toss-up as to which audience will hate the movie more. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty well put. <laughs> Terrible. Let's, let's look at a better movie. I mean, mm -hmm. let's give ourselves a break. Huh? After that, Roger and I agreed on everything. A pair of no's to the trashy bloodline with Audrey Hepburn. Roger thinks it's the worst major film of the year. 